the Guyana Revenue Authority is urging taxpayers to ensure they properly register for e-services. It is important to register correctly to avoid any issue with tax submission and payments. To sign up, you need an active email address and a scanned copy of a valid form of identification to validate your new account and receive important notifications. To start this process, you are required to visit GRA's e-services website, click on register for an account or create an account, and enter your personal details, that is, first and last name, date of birth, telephone number, an active email address, and most importantly, your taxpayer's identification number, TIN, as your username. Next, create a password that meets the stated requirements. Select and answer the three security questions. After selecting your security questions, agree to the terms and conditions by clicking the box and click Submit My Registration. You will receive an activation link in your email. Click this link within 48 hours to confirm your registration. To finalize your e-services registration, upload a form of identification, such as your ID card, driver's license, or biodated page of your passport. To do this, log into your account, go to the Inbox tab, hover over the drop-down arrow, and select New Messages. In the subject window, select Taxpayer e-services registration, and in the message box, type, Please link my account. Select the file from your device and upload your identification. You will receive an ENQ reference number after sending your inquiry. Contact the e-services section via the telephone and provide the ENQ number. A support officer will review the documents, submit it, and link your account. Once this process is completed, you can conduct your taxation business using the GRA's online platform. The benefits of registering for e-services. In March 2021, the GRA introduced the Optimal Revenue Management System, a user-friendly interface that consolidates taxpayers' information, financial transactions, and communications to offer reliable data. The e-services platforms allow you to send and receive secure messages. Taxpayers are able to communicate with the GRA effectively and promptly, view tax account statements and upcoming returns. File tax returns and manage all your tax accounts. Check to see if there is a refund, and the best part is that you are doing it from the comfort of your home or office. The individual income tax return is due annually on April 30th. This return is a document employees must submit to the GRE annually and contains information on their income earned from the previous year. Employees are now encouraged to submit these returns electronically to the GRE's e-services platform, where the electronic system submissions can be done from the comfort of your home or office with the click of a button. This video is a step-by-step -step guide on how to complete your transaction. First, log into your account and navigate to the Returns tab. Here you will find two options, Return List and File a Return. To file an individual income tax return, click on File a Return. Enter the tax type and year of assessment. Then click on Start a Return. Step one involves reviewing the return details, including the tax type, period, and the due dates for a return and payments. Ensure the information you enter is accurate. When you are ready to begin, click Yes if you are solely employed and No if you are both employed and self-employed or solely self-employed. After making a selection, click Save and Continue. Step two is a brief overview of the necessary documents needed to file the return. Click Save and Continue to go to the next section of this return. Entering income details. If you are earning an income through the public sector, Click Add Details in line 26B. If you're earning through the private sector, click Add Details in line 27B. You will need to provide details about your employer, including their tax identification number or the name of the company or agency. Additionally, 
you will be required to provide information from your emolument or your 7B slip, which includes your gross salary, taxable allowances, deducted income tax, PAYE, and NIS contribution. After you have entered all this necessary information, click the Save button to store your changes. If you have income from multiple organizations, click Add Details to input these details from each employer. To proceed, click Back, then select Save and Continue to move to the next section. Section 2 of 3 requires you to enter your allowances and deductions. These include your gross interest paid on your mortgage, line 41, and your medical and life insurance premium, line 42. After entering your details, click Save and Continue. Section 3 of 3 provides a brief overview of your deductions, total credit, and tax refundable are due. Review these details, then click Save and Continue. Section 4 requires you to upload the relevant documents. These must be in PDF or JPG format and should not exceed three megabytes in size. The documents include your 7B form, the mortgage interest relief form for, or the medical and life insurance premium form. After uploading these documents, click save and continue. Review and submission. The next important stage before submitting the return is to review all figures entered and to ensure no errors were made. You are also required to read the declaration of the terms and condition, agreeing that the information entered in the return is accurate and completed to the best of your knowledge. Click on the declaration checkbox and then click Submit Returns. For more information, visit the Optima website, www.gra.gov.gy slash optimal.